bike really is the fastest way to get around. Go and meet the crew at the dinner at the My Cuddy restaurant and look at the buffer going on. Beautiful roads to cycle on. Like, you can see the smoothness. World class tarmac quality in Bangkok. Uh, more so actually in the country areas, I think we're better and better and better. Fastest road in the world is in, in Chiang Mai apparently. I've ridden it sucking fast days man, so fast. Flat road. I've got a light in the back, just stay bright. Safe as fuck here now. I just, I just met a guy who's on a wheelchair. He, he pushes his wheelchair around uh, Bangkok, he's from Sweden. He didn't want to talk to the camera, but he says, yeah man, it's fine, it's not the easiest, but I want to get around, so I use my wheelchair. So that was pretty cool. I wish I got him on camera, but he didn't, uh, he didn't want to be on camera. Uh, bingo, let's rock and roll. Burn fat, not oil! Turbocharged, carved up on the bike. Look at this traffic. Chaos traffic, but very, very friendly traffic, very respectful traffic. There's no rules in Thailand, really. You do whatever the fuck you want to do. Red light. Red means go. How the fuck are we going to do this? Let's blend in the traffic, shall we? Blend in the traffic. That's what made that friendly as fuck in Australia. That fucking heat of a crowbar if you did this. In Thailand, like, no worries, mate. You do that, you do that just fine. Love Thailand! Well, it's put me to shame. I'm, I'm not carrying nothing. People ask me, how do you know where you're going, Harley? I don't know where I'm going. All I know is I follow the Garmin and we're about to pull up to a little vegan place just up here. Just follow the Garmin. Follow the Garmin. May KD. It's even got one next door to it. And then you got the May KD vegetarian restaurant. Trusty Garmin. Some back in Bangkok Alley. Here we go. Five bucks all you can eat. Thirty four. Hi, Cody. I've been coming to Thailand for nine years. I didn't fucking believe what happened. I just got fucking mugged. I just got fucking mugged. Look at my fucking hair. The dude charged me 200 baht. I just got fucking mugged in Thailand. Seven baht. I didn't say nothing. I just smiled. He showed me the mirror. He said, you're late, you're late. I said, yeah, it looks good, mate. I got mugged. Look at my hair, man. <laughs> I look like I'm going to try out for a fucking Thai boy band or something, man. <laughs> I just got fucking mugged in Bangkok. Got in that. Got some curries. Got a little plate there. Some noodles. Veggies. Stuff and some sauces. Best sardo sauce ever. Very good, very good. Round three.
you're going to go watch some uh, watch a running race. Sun's about to come up, Bangkok. Just getting ready, going to get some water in. Go watch the canyons. Let's see if I can catch the canyons. Watch them on the bike. But you didn't ring his yeah. <laughs> What is the I thing? Listen, Thai people are not very, very, like, you know, strict. You can talk to them. Yeah. I think they can consider that. You can consider yeah. Thai you can talk, talk to the Thai people. You, you know, these people say this. I'm Thai not people. the one. Listen, I are you the one? Yes. Are you the one? I took my, my you, pen. Are you the I one? I use my, my no, no, you use, to you, finish. You, you use the, no. the pen. Why? I, no, no, no. no. You are not, you the one? You don't agree your number. Why no, no, not agree no. your number? No, no, you are no, no, number no. three. No, no. are you the one? You are, you are, you are, you are, you are not the number three. Why take my money? Are you Viola? Are you Viola? Why take my money? No, no, no. You are crying. Just wait. Cool, cool. 
Are you the one? You, you talk. You talk to the Thai, the organizers. Yeah. Well, they are not are you, very strict. Not, they, you can no, talk no, no. to them if you can. It is painful. I understand. But are you Fiona? You look. You look even no, 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 no. Even are you God Fiona? We'll see you. You are not. So you are cheating. Are you? Are you the one? How can I cheat? Are you the one? No, no, no. It is very open. You will see you what will... God will do for you. No, no, no. We are, we, we are open. God, God is love. And... This morning it's 1.5 liters. Now I'm going to get some breakfast. Just come back from the canyons. Filled. Uh, yeah, nice. This is where the best urine is. It's pretty cheap. So, uh, 338. For, for about 200 calories. This is if you want the best urine, this is the best urine here, and get the soft stuff. Make sure it's soft. The stuff in the street isn't that good quality, generally. The stuff here, Montong soft. So that's about a day's wage for the average Thai. Work 12 hours just for a piece of local durian. And so, yeah, fully raw lifestyle, definitely, yeah. It's good if you've got the money, well, we do, but for the average person, no way they're going to afford it. No way. Mango, already chopped. This stuff's pretty good. $3, so almost half a day's wage for a bowl of mango. So there you go. I'll get a few of these, though, because we can afford it, because we're Westerners, but pretty screwed if you're a local. Juice here. Really good juice. I'm going to get some of these. That's a day's wage. 12 hours you have to work. For one juice, you work four hours. Give my bottles to. Lifesavers. So recycling so much stuff. Legends. Crap. <laughs> I mean, it's just so far fetched in the reality. It's 11 on top of the 5th Avenue, 52nd and 5th. Total wank. Total wank. Why well, waste your money? Get a Garmin. Get a Garmin watch. Handbag, put your posture out, give you a grandpa bag.
สวัสดีครับhaving a bit of a navigation if you can use your phone or I don't, I don't own a mobile phone so I use my Garmin people say yeah man you must know Bangkok like the back of your hand I do I'm so experienced but only when I got the Garmin on <laughs> otherwise I'm lost as anyone it's really a cool device to have the Garmin's on take those little alleyways you know just explore I love exploring just cruising around mm. mango trees not in season yet so I just had a good meal of mangoes I love that I could just have a big meal of mangoes at the supermarket and they're all hand selected ripeness. I mean the Thais know how to cut ripe fruit, especially in those supermarkets. Just fantastic. Just I feel so so uh, satisfied right now. And I'll smash off the last little bit of mango later on. Beautiful stuff. What a beautiful little alleyway. So green. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It's again 7 Eleven. These are good. Fruit Fruitamans, they're really nice. All the tip codes are good. Mali. What else have we got? You got your waters. Tip codes down there as well. Um, that's about it. Varies from 7 Eleven. Varies from 7 Eleven. These are good as well. The ivy, tamarind juice, really good. Pop that one off, mate. Down. down outside now. Pissing down outside. Check it out. When it rains in Bangkok, it rains. It rains. Beautiful, fresh water. Nice way to cool off. Gonna polish off the last one and watch the rain. Watch the rain. Beautiful mangoes. Get these out and recycle them and give them to the plastic bag people. Awesome. Job done. So thanks for watching the long video. I hope you've got a bit of insight to what it's like in Thailand and that's... We're pretty fucking lucky, aren't we? 
I mean, you saw the Kenyan girl pretty much lost a year's income. Just like that. Work 12 hours a day. Thai people just afford a meal on mangoes. That we just, palates come in and take for granted. Here's, here's your bar form, and we get out the mangoes. So that's why we give people backup plans. That's why we understand that half the world is on less than $2 a day. Half the world is on less than $2 a day. Why the fuck are we breeding? Let's fix up the fucking problems first, man. Let's have all, everyone should have enough food.